My name is Theodore, I'm a manager in Global Hardware Engineering, and I joined Cadets in 2008. I was part of 803 North Shore Sable Squadron from West Island. I joined Cadets when I was 13, uh, I got my glider license when I was 16, and my private pilot license when I was 17. Uh, I was a cadet in total for four years, and after my cadet experience, I became an officer for the Air Cadets, and as an officer, I was a glider instructor and taught others, like I was taught, how to fly gliders. When you're in it, it doesn't feel special because your circle of friends are friends that are doing the same thing. To my high school friends, it's unfathomable. It, it just sort of doesn't make sense uh, and you can't really understand how someone could get to that point. So it's really hard to understand from an outside perspective how you, how you could fly a plane before you can drive a car. When I was young, I wanted to become a pilot and I knew within the Air Cadets you could get your licenses for free. You just have to put in the work, the time, pass the right exams and the right interviews and you would get your licenses. And that is why I joined Cadets, because I, got, I was able to get my private pilot license. I think the Air Cadets defined me. I joined the Air Cadets a year after I immigrated to Canada and it gave me a community, it gave me activities, it gave me friends, it gave me a place where I could belong with other people and productively spend my time towards aviation, sports, music and survival. My funniest story in the Air Cadets is flying my mom in a glider and I remember when I was taking off I looked at my dad and the sort of worry he had on his face knowing that I would take his wife, my mom, up in the air and that I had to bring her back. So just seeing my dad's face with us taking off it was extremely funny. I'm a manager in Global Hardware Engineering. I have a team of roughly about 30 people. Cross-functionally, I have electrical designers and mechanical designers, and we design pretty much anything that C manufactures. And to give you some examples, my team's in charge of the ATRs, the Embraers, and various military projects. I can give you an example. Uh, when I was a cadet, I was responsible for a survival. So I would be in charge of about 20 people and our mission would, would be to survive for one or two nights in the forest, have a training schedule, make sure everyone gets fed, make sure everyone is comfortable, make sure everyone is safe. I am where I am partly because someone from the Air Cadets referred me to the company that I work for. I wouldn't be where I am without the network that I developed in the Air Cadets.